So before we begin, we need to know the apps that we need to use to make this assignment successful. The two that we're going to use, the Arts and Culture app, which is a Google product, and Snapseed, which is surprisingly also a Google product, I believe. So we're going to open up the App Store, and what we're going to look for is Google Arts and Culture. It's this first icon on the left, not the top one, where it says Google Arts and Culture. The second one, type in Snapseed, and you'll see we also want this one right here, the one on the left. So I've already downloaded both of those, so I don't need that open anymore. Then when we open up the app, you're going to get this spinning circle, both the primary colors of additive light and one color of subtractive light put in there. And then you're going to get this. This bottom screen, when it opens up, don't click on that. Just click somewhere else. Now, on the very bottom, you're going to see a camera that has all four of those colors circling the camera icon. Click on that. This comes up. You get five different choices. We're interested in the top two. We're actually mostly interested in the second one, the art selfie. We're going to click on this, and what it's going to do, it's going to give you the option to take a selfie. Now, before we take a selfie of me, my wife has agreed to take a selfie of herself. So we're going to take the, the camera, line it up, and notice the background. Find a background you like. Now, the photo's taken, and you can see all the little dots. It's figuring out what we want our subject to look like from the different photos. Okay, so she's mostly got men on this one. So we're like, no, nope, that didn't work. So we're going to do it again. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to do it again. There we go. So now we're getting some different choices. Oh, that's a nice one. So we're going to have to make a decision about what photo it is that we're going to culturally appropriate, not that one. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Any of these interesting? Mm, no. No? Okay, so we're going to click retake. One more time. Let's try one more time. One more time. I'm not fixing my hair this time. I wonder if you do. No, he almost <laughs> tried to get rabbit ears. I didn't let him. Okay, so we're doing it again. So we're going to go through and we're going to look. Very simple. What do you call that thing on the head? I don't know. <laughs> I have a towel in the house. I could make that. Okay, so we'll make that. I and we have a lab happen. coat, so we will do... This one looks pretty good. There's some other ones. Not so sure about this one. <laughs> like, if you remember watching X-Men, isn't that what um, Xavier wears when he goes into that metal dome so that he can see everybody who is an X-Men around the world? So no, we won't do that one. That's us in about 20 years. Look at that sad expression with all those beautiful flowers on her head. Hmm. Okay, so I think we found our shot. So it's going to be this one here, here, where it says View Artwork. I'm going to make sure we click this right now, because here's the crazy thing. If you click on the icon up here to upload the image, and you're going to save it, as soon as you do, it disappears. So come out of there. Don't click on that yet. Click on the actual photo of the artwork. Not on you, but of the artwork. And then here, click on View Artwork. Click away from that. And now this is what we want to keep. So we don't need to zoom in very much. We just need to make sure that we can see this image. But I don't believe we can copy it. So I'm going to do a screenshot. So on, you guys have to figure that out. On my machine, I do the home button and the top button at the same time. There it is. So here's my image. And I'll crop that down just a little bit. Click on Done, Save to Photos. 
So that's the image we're going to recreate. So let's go back. Let's go back. And here is where we were. So I'll click on, so this is the shot that we're going to recreate. Um, you'll notice that the photo that we took. Do they have to save this with their selfie and the picture? Of what they did? As part of your assignment? They should have a, they should have the photo of what they did so that they can recreate it. No, no. The only thing that they would need is that photo and then the photo of them. So the artwork, so we just need, so all we need to see at the very end is this photo as a reference and then the photo, and you can see there's nothing beyond it, the photo that you make of this. And we're going to show that to you in just a bit. So you can see the picture that we're going to recreate and for us to do this work, we need to start here. But notice science, it's like magic, but real. So Oriana, you're dressed well. Okay, so I'll get you to back up just a little tiny bit. Perfect. Now let's just check that image again, make sure that we've got this right. Okay, hands are in your pocket. Can you turn a little more towards me? There we go. Good. Now I need you to look up over here. So looking up a little bit left and a little bit more this way. There we go. And that looks pretty good. I think I've matched her up pretty good. Okay, right about here seems to be the spot. So I'll just crouch down. Nope, I'll have to back up a little bit, right about there. Let me just take that picture and check it against this one. Can you turn your head a little more towards me? There we go. Now turn your, a little too much towards me. Turn your, there we go. Hold that. Okay, and it's kind of right here. All right, let me check that that shot to this one nailed it all right by the way you did a phenomenal job as always so now we're going to edit our photo i've got the image saved to my photos and i have snapseed now open and when i tap i have to tell snapseed that i am giving it access to my photos so the first one that we're going to use is this one right here we're going to open that up now, there's a bunch of things that we need to do to this. The first one is we need to get this image cropped. So I'm going to go to the tools and I'm going to go to crop and I'm going to say free. Bring this in, bring that in and up because we want, we got to get rid of a little bit of the bottom of the jacket and move this over just a little bit. We'll balance out the sides. That looks pretty good. And I'll hit the check mark. Go back to the tools menu. The next one here is, I think I'm gonna do a curves adjustment. Grab the middle and just sort of brighten this up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And again, hit the check mark. Go back to tools. I also have uh, a small issue with that logo that's on the jacket. So we need to heal that. So we click the healing tool, which is on the left and two fingers and I zoom in and I just go over the words. Okay, I'm just gonna stay on that. Try and avoid edges if you can. So this is a pretty clean, I'm just using my finger, pretty clean. There we go, that's pretty clean. Notice I didn't near the edge of that pocket and now I have to just go back over the lines. Okay, that looks good. Clean up that line, clean up this line. We'll just go slow. Just sort of tapping now, just to get rid of that. Let's zoom back in, clean that up. almost like sponging on it. Get a little closer, there we go. So zooming in kind of makes it that much cleaner and you move around with two fingers on it and kind of clean that up nicely. Okay, so that's pretty good and we'll hit the check mark on that. Now we'll go back to our tools. And let's see, we have to add some drama to this. 
So how much drama do we want to add? Well, well we can reference our image. That looks pretty good. I think I'll adjust that a little bit. Adjust it again. How's the saturation? I think that's good. Let me hit the check mark. The tools. I think our color needs to be brought up. So the ambient light will bring that down a little bit. So we got some good contrast. The warmth, I think, is the important one here. So we're trying to make that a little more brown. So we'll get there. Contrast. We'll bring that down a bit so that we're not dealing with too much. There we go. Go back to the tools and the grainy film look. We're going to add some film, but we got to get the tones relatively right. Let's adjust this and we'll bring the grains. Just a little bit of green in there. Click the adjust button, style strength. We'll bring that down. Don't want to add too much noise. I want to add some. I think that's good. Tools. Let's go with the grunge look. And this will add a whole bunch of textures that we could put in. Let's figure out which one we want. Well, I kind of like that one. That one's a little too heavy. That one's a little too heavy. So this one I think is the right one, but we need to adjust it. So the style. Looking for a color or a brown. That's getting us into the zone. Hit adjust again. Brightness. Let's find the right number. Oh, we're back. Let me just do this again. Just we'll go to brightness. No, I'm not liking that. Let me hit the X. Go back to the tools. Go back to grunge. Saturation. Contrast. Not liking that work at all. Oops. Let's undo that whole case. We have our green. Now I know that when I went to portrait mode and I clicked on eyes, it sharpened it a little bit. Then you could still click on adjust. There we go. A little more there. Skin smoothing. Because it's a painting, we want to see a little less detail there. Eye clarity, let's pop that up a little more because it's a painting. And there's no more in there, so we're good. Click OK. Let's check out Vintage. Oh, I do like the Vintage color there. That looks pretty decent, actually. Uh, let me try this one. Brightness, let's just brighten that up. No, I don't like it at all. Turn that right off. Go to tools, tonal contrast, high tones, bring those down so that it's a little less contrasty. Mid tones, same thing, just bring that down a little bit. Protect the shadows quite a bit. Let's just bring that up. Click OK. OK, so I think we've done a pretty good job on this image. We're right in the same realm. I'm going to click on Export, and I'm going to hit Save. Uh, let's actually save a copy. So if you look at those bottom selections, save a copy. Now it's added all of those to our app. And let me go to my camera app, and you can see that there it is. So we have this image right here, and here's our version of it. It's a little more yellow but we are right in the realm you can see it's a little more centered in my shot to the painting but i would be very happy if you could accomplish that task all right have fun